was calling in because I... We were having too much fun? The show was moving too quickly and, you want, you and want to slow things down. Because this was one of the best shows ever, and then you decided to make it bad. I want to bring everything to a grinding halt. No, Jack. Hey, I'm getting fucking mad at you right now. Hey, Eric, what's up? I was calling in because the way you you were acting last week when I called in. You're still at that hotel. Look at you. What, who even remembers last week? What are you talking about? You mean you waited all weekend to yell at us about how we acted last week? Yes. Remember he was brutally bad and we had to tell him? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you weren't that good. Fuck you. You aren't good every morning. Nah, I'm well, pretty good. What's your opinion? Yeah, but I'm good. It's been proven. I mean, I'm like number one everywhere. Whenever Somebody's I, listening, including yeah, you. I mean, I had, num I had more number ones than any radio disc jockey in history. You can't say I'm bad. <laughs> I mean, come on. That's just not. That's not going to win. That's just stupid. That argument's not going to win, Eric. So, what did you want to say? <laughs> saying Howard's not good is like saying you're not a douchebag. <laughs> I'm not fat ass. Fat <laughs> back. Terrible. At least if I go on TV, I don't go on TV with a dirty shirt. Wow. That's, a good, that's a good point, Artie. Now you're fucking hitting where it hurts, oh. huh? <laughs> now you, now you, you know, you can make fun of me all you want, but when you start hitting my stylist. He has a guy who styles those shirts. <laughs> uh, hey, Eric, like anyway, you. Eric, I'm sorry you were mistreated, but uh, do you have anything important to say today? Because I do want to go right over to Chuck Zito, so you tell me. Well, I just was pissed at you acting like that one. All right. Well, I'm sorry. Oh. Once again, we've uh, booked passage on the SS Boredom with you. <laughs> <sighs> I call in that morning because you know, I wanted to tell you about being on Jimmy Kimmel's show and that I, you know, kind of patch things up with him and then you acted like a piece of shit. Nobody but cares. You were, it was the boringest story. Yeah, it was just, you know what it was, Eric? I was actually interested in it. You know, Jimmy Kimmel had him on the show yeah. again. Uh, I let him come down and watch the show live, and I was aware of it. Jimmy had contacted me, and when Eric called in, I was excited to hear his story of how he patched things up with Jimmy Kimmel. But the story, if you remember, last week was very long. And a bunch of hellos to people. Yeah, so I had, yeah, in the middle of a long story, it was like, hello to, uh, you know, Mike from uh, Baghdad and, uh, you know, uh, Arnold from Maine. And, you know, and it was just, it was just not a great, it wasn't one of your better appearances, so I had to cut it short. And so now you're doing a replay of that. Yeah. All right, so uh, no, no offense, you'll, you'll have better appearances. It just wasn't one of your better stories. Not to, not to worry. Yeah, I found out the problem between Jimmy and I was caused by you. Uh, <laughs> oh. Somehow I knew we would be at the bottom. So Jimmy pussied out and blamed it all on me. Yeah, supposedly that email was not meant to be read on air. Oh. Which email? The one that you read on air that he wrote to you. What did it say? I don't even remember. You know, the comments about my hands and... Oh, oh, yeah. Like yeah. 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 I guess it was me then. Yeah, he said that when he shook he your hand. He wrote it, but you read it. He said when he shook your hand, it was like a rotten plum. Oh. <laughs> so you'd prefer if Jimmy talks behind your back? Well, I mean, I don't exactly appreciate that, but. Yeah. You're right. I, I guess I, you know. It wasn't meant for Eric's ears. All right. Fair enough, Eric. But still, I, he wrote it, Eric. Just because it didn't get on the right. air proves that you're uh, a phony who sucks the Hollywood cock. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Jimmy wrote yeah, it, and well. you should still be mad at him for writing it. I wanted to be a hand model. Howard's being your friend by exposing <laughs> it. To hey, I wanted to show you that Jimmy's not really your friend, that I'm your friend. <laughs> I, I think maybe I got. He just calls you to call you name. Eric, maybe I got jealous that you were teaming up with Jimmy and I was being left out. Yeah, I, I thought that was the case yeah. that you were right. not wanting me to. I didn't want you to get too close to Jimmy. And Howard told me he had seen that show, and and your part was so boring, and he hopes for those moments on this show. <laughs> oh, shut Why can't up. you make my show boring? <laughs> All right, hey, Eric, I got to move along, but call back tomorrow and uh, when we have more time. Bye, Eric. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Take care. Wednesday, choke on a cupcake, please. Hey, uh, listen to me. 
If this show sucks, how do you know Wednesday's Cupcake Day and everything else? Right. All right. Thank you. You're an asshole. Uh, that's a little harsh. No, I like they, that. Fat ass. And <laughs> he gets vicious. I agree with Fred. This kid this kid will piss you off. Oh, yeah. All right. Hey, Eric, call tomorrow when we have more time. I do want to get to Chuck Zito. He's waiting. Thank you. All right. All right. Bye for now. <laughs> All right, Chuck Zito, as you know, <laughs> is a host on this channel, on Howard 101. One of my favorite the shows. The best host. Uh, considered the best host, better certainly than me. Better than Bubba. Better, better than Bubba. Better than all of He's the professionals. Better on, Chuck Zito is better on the radio than Hi me there. and Bubba put together <laughs> times ten. I don't know how he never like it's had true. a career in radio. I like that. He, he, he did a couple of shows and already is better than me. <laughs> I don't know why he bothers. You should be running this show every morning, Chuck. Yeah, that's what I say. <laughs> you should be. Chuck, what how you doing, man? Good, Tom. How you doing? Yeah, I saw you. Uh, oh, so that was a fake mustache you were wearing the other no, day? No, I had a shave. I worked on another movie yesterday, so. You had the mustache for I had the uh, a movie? Fu, fu Manchu for uh, this uh, new pilot we shot for HBO called 1%. Oh. I walked down the hall the other day, and uh, who was standing there? Chuck Zito in a suit. And a big giant Fu Manchu, Manchu mustache. Yeah. And I said, "What? Well, what is this new look?" And of course, I reminded Chuck How that he, was it? no was matter it what he's wearing, he is the most handsome man on the planet. <laughs> I told him that. Actually, people said I look younger with that mustache. Really? I was ready to grow a full beard now. You did look a little younger. You did. I, I, I have did, to right? say, it was a good look for you. I, uh, but I thought you were on the run or in disguise, <laughs> and I was like, right, maybe I shouldn't call him Chuck. I'll just call him, uh, you know, hey, hey, yo, hey, bye -bye. hey, hey, bye -bye. hey, hey you. whoever you are, <laughs> I understand, bye -bye. I don't recognize you. That was a good look, though, right? It was a good look. It was, it was retro. I liked it. You, I was actually, I was in a suit because I was working, I was up uh, uh, in between lunch from uh, Rebound. We were shooting a new movie with uh, Catherine Zeta-Jones. Oh, call rebound. Now, when oh. you say you're shooting a movie, you have scenes with Catherine. Well, Zeta? no, no, no. Oh. Actually, well, I do have the scene in the movie, but I'm I'm a, a stunt man for these three movies I'm doing. I'm a stunt man. You I'm, do stunt work? I, that's how I started. I didn't know that. Yeah, and I isn't saw. that dangerous? That well, of course, dangerous. It is. of course it is. What do you have to do in the movie? To... So, if you do another movie, I want to do your stunt. Okay. I want to be your stunt double. Well, we look alike, <laughs> so it's it's you're perfect. <laughs> what? Um, who are you a stunt double for? For, for, for... Uh, it was just uh, it was a boxing scene. Right. The guy gets hit out of the ring. Right. He lands on top of the stunt guys, and Catherine's sitting right behind me. So, do you allow a guy to punch you in the face during the shooting of the movie? In other words, you take the hit. Sure, if yeah. you have to, if, if you have to, it, of course. And and do you beat the guy up afterwards uh, <laughs> who hits you in the face? I get him in the parking lot on the way out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so in a movie, you'll allow a guy to hit you yeah. and of knock course, you down, of right? Now I have, even get beat up in the movies. They pay me. Have you ever been injured uh, working? I uh, actually, uh, uh, we jumped off a couple of buildings and all that stuff. But I uh, did a uh, a scene, a stair fall once, and it was a, a, a long staircase, and I did this. Uh, the stair fall. Right. The guy said, that was great. But can you do it one more time? I said, yeah, sure. The second you fall, time, you have the to second just time fall, I cracked my head open. Oh. <laughs> you have to throw yourself down the stairs. Yeah, yeah. And but you're paired. Not... You're paired. Uh, if, yeah. if it calls for it, unless uh, the guy has walks around like me with no clothes on. Do you? Right. Are, are, you are you part of a union of uh, stunt workers? A SAG. Screen, screen Actors Guild, yes. And how do you get a job like that? It's just knowing the right people? Uh, most of the time, it's... Uh, the stunt coordinators call me themselves, but there's not a lot of people who are willing to throw themselves downstairs anyway, right? This is a, this oh, no. Is... You have a lot of there's a lot of competition with uh, the stunt people. There is, but there, there's well, they have uh, different organizations. How do you? Stunt. But how do you know how to throw yourself down the stairs properly? Or do you? <laughs> it's on a job training, man. <laughs> really? So in other words, there's no like school where you can go to no, learn how no, to throw no, yourself no, down no, the stairs. No, most of it's on a job training, so you just fall. And hope hope for the best when you land. Wow. You got to be a tough guy, in other words. Nah, you you do. They got skinny guys. <laughs> they got skinny guys to throw they themselves? They got small guys, yeah. Is it a high, it must be high paying. This, yeah. Is it high paying, Chuck? It depends. The harder the stunt, no. uh, you get stunt adjustments. So, What do you it, get paid uh, to throw yourself down a flight of well, stairs? Well, you get paid the same as if you're working. It, it's uh, whatever. The, the uh, It's 800 a day wow. plus well, uh, stunt adjustments. What is considered hard? What's like one well, of Well, if you, you jump off a building, if you're on a cable, if you go down to the ground, you're all cabled. Have you ever oh, jumped off a building? I was jumped, I was thrown off a 28-story uh, balcony once, but I was cabled. I only fell like 10 feet. You're not afraid of heights? 
No, not really. Wow. Is there any Lights stunt? Don't scare me. It's is there any st- worrying about the cable? It's snapping. That's all. Well, that's what I mean. I mean, I you know, you, you could say a million times, yeah, don't worry, they got me cable, but some shithead yeah, uh, doesn't exactly. cable yeah, you right, you're guy? done. Well, that's like we we take setting up everything's safety first, so you have to right. make sure everything's safety. Then your, your harness is on and the cable. So we're putting the cables. The uh, stunt coordinator and the other uh, stunt guys, they're, they're putting the uh, this beam. We went through the through the uh, hallway into the exit door, and they put a beam across with a cable. So the director's saying, hurry up, hurry up, I'm losing light. I say, pal, I'm one going over this thing, not you. <laughs> yeah, hurry so up. I don't care about no light. Light. <laughs> Do this in the <laughs> dark. That, man. Have you ever decided a stunt was too dangerous and you've turned it down? Uh, no. Never? No. You're afraid of nothing. You are a real well, man. It's, it's <laughs> you really are a real man. You get paid for the stunts, though. You know what I say about Chuck? I've said this a million times. What? If this was like back in like you know, early man days, Chuck would be an emperor. He would be ruling the planet, right? You, Last you time could, you said it was caveman days. <laughs> back in caveman days, you could have just beaten any man and had all your women, right? Yeah. You would have had everything. <laughs> now they got all laws and rules oh, holding you back, it. man. About it, man. And these little skinny guys in suits have taken over. Yeah, the skinny guys in suits. But back in the barbarian days, yeah. you would have been that the man. Man, take the club, <laughs> boom. Right over the now, head, ma'am. Chuck, I'm looking at your tattoo. Oh, it's a new one. I like that. I, I didn't think I had seen that before. Chuck, this is a beautiful yeah. tattoo of Jesus H. Christ himself on your arm now. Oh, wow. It's the size of your entire shoulder. This is uh, my niece, Faith. She's eight years old. She has cancer, and I put that on for her. And oh, Jesus, really? Let yeah. me ask you a bit. Are you, re- are you a religious man? I'm a... Uh, well, I don't go to church every year. Uh, but to put Jesus... Not even every year. <laughs> your eight-year-old niece got cancer. Yes. How does that happen? I don't know, man. Was That's there a history? Says, says, no, no. That's why I say says sometimes uh, God can be so evil. You know. That's yes. a shame. But it's uh, she uh, had a brain tumor at seven years old. Oh, jeez. And when they remove the uh, tumor, she can't walk or talk anymore. Oh. Yeah. So she's That's eight years awful. old now. Now she's just trying to get her speech back, and she's therapy and. See, I get the chills and I get upset when I hear that. Because a kid doesn't have a chance in life. That's what hurts me so much. You have a Somebody like me, I'm 55 already. And, you know, I've done some things in my life that should have happened to me. And I I would change place with her in any any second. What do you have, a sister or a brother? I have two sisters. And this is your sister's kid? Well, actually, it's my my great niece. It's my, my sister's son's. Uh, my great it's a shame. So, you, so this, her name is Faith. So I put this on for her. So people must think you're very religious with uh, Jesus yes, Christ. Yes, guys. He said, "When did you see God?" I said, "What?" <laughs> so last God. night I was at the, on, on uh, some you restaurant. Just, you, you just like his picture. Yeah. Well, yeah. I always. What happened was when I was a kid living in Bensonhurst. I've seen these three guys actually walking out of a, a basement apartment, and they right. all had tattoos, and they all with Christ head. I said, "Man, that looks pretty cool." I always wanted a Christ head. Right. So I finally got a Christ that, and now it was for a good cause. So I put my niece's name there. Very nice. Uh, let me tell you. So, so before you beat a man almost to death, does he see Jesus's face? I mean, in a way, it's <laughs> I sort show of him weird. see this. <laughs> yeah, 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 guess who you're going to meet? You believe in God? That's because you're going to meet him. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think that's great? Like you say, look, <laughs> look up at Jesus while I put you down. Bye bye. See that? Look Bam. At that. Boom. So Let's the guy that too. Wait, Adam, you, Adam from Big Joe's did that. Hey Chuck, have you ever beat up a guy? And I mean, really give him a good pummeling. Yeah. And, uh, and then he sees Jesus, and he thinks he's having a near death experience. <laughs> like he goes, "Hey, I, I'm Chuck. Thank you. <laughs> you beat me so hard. I saw Jesus Christ." Well, the tattoos, go, no, asshole, it's my tattoo. The tattoo's fairly new, though, right? <laughs> nah, yeah, that's uh, I, I haven't beaten anybody up with a new tattoo yet. You haven't? So that's, Would that's, you come that's in here? That's 20 hours. Wow. 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 And it's five, four sittings. Five, wow. yeah, five hours each. So well, I, well, I would think Chuck Zito would sit for all 20 hours. No, uh, I no, figured you're man. so tough Chuck, that you no, could Chuck handle Chuck has other things to do. Uh, <laughs> not just that. After a while, after like five hours sitting there, yeah. it's hurting, man. You don't yeah. want the tattoo guy getting say, weary, say, either. They say... <laughs> Uh, the longer it get, takes, it, you get used to it. That's bullshit, man. It's yeah. needles going in your arm. That's right. Yeah, I, and, I, and it's it's uh, the most I've ever been tattooed was like maybe two, three hours. Right. And uh, it g- gets a little on your nerves after a while. Oh yeah, I've seen uh, Sly. Sly's tattooed now. Oh, Stallone, is he? Yeah. He sat through. I was with him ten hours at one time. One sitting. One wow. sitting, man. He I took it. Do, I I don't. It doesn't bother me to get tattooed. Doesn't hurt. You could. Yeah, do but 10 look hours? how big it is. What do you got? 
Oh, oh, a dot? Yeah. Come on, man. A dot. <laughs> what are you wow. about? That's it. <laughs> you got a dot. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, you guys yeah, just rather involved. What are you involved. talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I sit there. It's a little a thing dot. over there. <laughs> Did it bother me? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't bother me. Zip. Okay, next. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what is this latest controversy? Somebody uh, had the nerve. Uh, you're one of the best actors I've ever seen. I remember oh, thank you on you, us. man. Thank you. And, every, and, and I want to meet the man who says you're not. Right. Now, uh, let me understand. Somebody, it said in page six that somebody, you were working on a film. Right, right, right. And somebody who worked with you said you were a punch-mugged, terrible <laughs> actor. Now, I mean, that's very disrespectful, <laughs> isn't it? He wants to see Jesus. He wants to see Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Is there really well, what happened who said was that? Uh, 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 page six called me. They right. told me who it was, and actually, actually, I, I brought the uh, the kid just brought up the uh, director. It was a little trailer of the movie if you wanted to see it. Yes, and uh, he has said this guy uh, Arthur Nascarella, right. which I couldn't believe. He was in Sopranos. He did a lot of things. He's a friend of yours, and yeah, he's a friend of mine. And I, right. I never heard him talk bad about anybody. But I think it was just somebody st stirring a pot and starting shit. Yeah, because I call supposedly they they called him. He says I would never say that. And he says like he never. Chuck. He says he never said it. Never said it. He did. He did. Yeah, say I that. mean, if he's a guy yeah. who's never started trouble, why would he start with I, you? Exactly. Right. Exactly. So, like I said, it was just somebody starting shit. And what if he had said it? But fortunately, <laughs> he was smart enough not to say it. What What if he had said it? Well, then he'd go down a road like the other people. Right. <laughs> road of hard knocks. <laughs> I can't imagine. In fact, you know, someone said to me, gee, uh, uh, the other day when you came up in your costume for your movie there, you know, with, yeah. the, with the mustache, someone said to me, hey, th Chuck's wearing a strange outfit. Somebody said it. I go, are you fucking crazy? <laughs> That's a strange outfit. Said, that was strange outfit. You saw me this. I wore a suit for you one day. Sure. I said, do you want to get your fucking head knocked off? <laughs> What's There's strange nothing strange. About a suit? I said, even if it was strange, you know Chuck can make that look normal. <laughs> You asshole. I thought that was a pretty good-looking suit. What are you talking about? I, it, Chuck, please. I straightened the guy right out. Good. Yeah, Did you don't hit him? worry about it. Yeah. No, I didn't even need to. I told him you were going to hit him. <laughs> um, so recently you attended a US, UFC fight, Ultimate Fighting Championship fight, with a beautiful girl in Las Vegas. Yes. And um, you describe that the girl you're with, very beautiful girl, Starts talking to another guy. Oh, no, no, no. What happened was uh, I took this girl. We met, actually, a few weeks before the UFC. She said she was a big UFC fan. Now, yeah. was this a date? Well, that night it was. Yeah, a date. Yeah, now, by the way, it was actually, Donald, Donald was sitting in front of me. Donald, Donald Trump. Trump. And he says, is that your girlfriend? I said, well, tonight it is. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, I so, bring this story up because yes. men have to learn how to behave in certain situations. Right. And Chuck is very good at what that. A lot of his do? show, A lot of his show, when he works on uh, Howard 101, is devoted to how to behave how like to a man. How to be a man. How to be a real man. Because there's no role models out there these no. days. Isn't I could there? I could tell you how to be a man, but you know it would be a joke. <laughs> uh, Chuck would know how to do you it. Know, it's, it's All right, so you where, there, where you go to like California and Vegas, mm -hmm. guys aren't like used to getting you know smacked around. Right. And they're very disrespectful. <laughs> right. And people have told me before that they don't care if you're with a girl, they'll come right up to you and start right. talking to the girl. Right. Uh, uh, so yeah, said this yeah, that I want to see that. One no, thing no. I notice uh, many times when I'm with a woman, you're always respectful. You never, uh, you know, he's like, never tried to hit on a girl no. who's with you. Chuck could easily I'll grab the girl by the hair and drag her off, <laughs> and he doesn't. He's respectful. There is a respect that you give someone when they're out on a date, right? But you have of said course, that people have started just walked past you, ignored you completely, and started talking to Beth. Absolutely, I do nothing. <laughs> but Chuck, what? <laughs> A karate man. I know. Should... A Shotokan. What Boom. is a what does a real man do so, in this situation? We I take this girl and I pick her up first. She meets me at the uh, st I stay at the uh, Planet Hollywood uh, Hotel and right. Casino there now. It's a big beautiful place. Everybody stays there now. <laughs> so <laughs> we get we jump in a limo. They take us to the fight. Right. So as soon as we get in a limo, she starts. Texting. Pay, texting people. I hate that. First of all, I hate that. <laughs> You're a man you know, who wants to be paid attention to. She's it, it, texting she's while texting, she's with you? She's texting, Don't you right. feel like, wow, I must really be boring this woman if uh, she's yeah, texting. Yeah, exactly. yeah, We get to the fight. I'm watching the fights. I look over. She's texting. I'm <laughs> saying, who the fuck is she texting, right? <laughs> yeah. Thought she was a fan. Uh, yeah. yeah. Thought she was a fan. I'm thinking that yeah. we had front row seats. Dana yeah. White's always great to me. So Can't the whole we... time you're on this date, so, she's texting. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Then we go to uh, with some friends. And we go to uh, Rayo's. They okay. have a new Rayo's in, in Caesar's Palace. Perfect. So we go to Rayo's. We have a big dinner. It's a night, and you're buying her dinner, right? Yeah, we're buying the right, dinner. Right, right, right. So. so then the next thing she goes, well, I want to go out and have... And we're sitting eating. Don't you think... Because you're... Texting while you're... Texting it. Oh, did, it, did you ever think, gee, she's probably excited. She's that, telling uh, everybody she's, she's with She's with me. Chuck Zito. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, okay. I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, right. So that the, a, a, after dinner, she goes, I'm going to go ha have a cigarette. Then I said, you smoke? Because she was you know, tall. She was yeah. beautiful. Right. Yes. I said, okay, I'm just, go out. All right. I'm talking to my friends. I'm talking to my friends. Five minutes go by, 10 minutes, like 15 minutes. Long. I said, where the fuck is this girl, right? So I walk out, and uh, Rayo's had a front patio where everybody's smoking. Sure. But like 20 feet away, there was a big fountain in the middle. And I see her sitting down. And then some big guy is leaning over talking to her. I'm oh saying, boy. what the fuck is this, right? <laughs> so uh -oh. I walk <laughs> towards the guy, right. and I walk towards them. I get in between her and the guy, and he <laughs> kneels up. And he's a big guy, bigger than me, right? Right. I said, did you lose something? He goes, no, what do you mean? I said, did you lose something? He goes, no. I said, then get the fuck out of here before <laughs> I knock you the fuck out. <laughs> right? so, but Chuck, in fairness, if I may ask, at that point, how's the guy to know that this guy... Well, thank you very much, because she said the same thing to me. She got upset that I got upset. Right. And he goes, well, I'm waiting for a friend. And I said, then go wait somewhere else. Get the fuck out of here right. if I knock you out, right? Right, right. So then she goes, well, look, he, he, saw, he saw a single girl here smoking. Right. I said, well, you're not single. You're with me tonight. Right. And you should have just said, I'm having a cigarette. I like to be left alone. Right. Instead of this conversation. See, I have the problem with her. She should have said to him what you said. Well... Well, he sees. She oh, I don't know. I don't know. I got pissed off. What can I say? Talk. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> talk to who? You know, Chuck. So I then, what happened? Yeah. Well, I get in between them. I left out. I get in between them. Right. I said, "Did you lose something?" No. I said, "Get the fuck out!" He goes, "I wasn't talking." Huh? I said, "No." What were you talking to? The fucking fountain? Right. I said, "Get out of here before I knock you the fuck out." And then she goes, "Well, you know, there was no reason for that. He wasn't doing." I said, "You're not by yourself. You're with me tonight." Right. Then what happened was, when my girlfriend's coming. That's who she was texting. So her girlfriend comes, shows up. She goes, well, where are we going to go? I said, what do you mean, where are we going to go? Right. I said, I want to go with you. Right. Who well, my girlfriend's yeah, here, but we want you to come girlfriend? with her. I said, well, I'll tell you what. You want to be with your girlfriend? Have a nice night. And I left. Wow. You know what? You so want to know something? kick the girl. If I was curve. in a situation yeah. where uh, somehow I mistakenly talked to a woman you were with, I would just say to you, listen, Chuck, I'm never talking to another woman again. <laughs> I would swear that this argument. You know, I had a similar. That pissed me off. I had a similar incident. I'm at a place, and a, this is years ago. A guy starts talking to a girl I'm with. Mm -hmm. So I went and bought them drinks <laughs> because they looked like they were having a good time. They were having a nice yeah, time. I, yeah, he was much bigger than me. I don't think I could have. He's talking to your girlfriend. That's right. I and you bought, bought them drinks. That's right, and I left. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we need your show, Chuck. Chuck, I, I, thank you for straightening me out. How now I know what to do. So I say to the guy, "How'd you like me to?" Fucking knock you out right now. Yeah, I got went over to the guy and said, listen, I should fucking wait somewhere else. I'm an asshole. <laughs> Do, would you mind if I said, listen, I know Chuck Zito and he's going to knock you the fuck out? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Use my name, Use my name anytime Thank you want. It's because but, you, I'm on a radio show. And it's because you, I do radio now. Chuck, one question, though. Yo. You, you're out with a girl. She's texts for a friend. Yeah. In your mind, maybe she wants a threesome. Her, her friend, and you. I mean, was that possible? This was not nah. that. Nah. No way. Nah, I think you were right to leave. Person. I think you were right to leave, and I'll tell well, you why. Well, yeah, the date didn't sound like it was going well. She was texting the whole time. She's yeah. not talking to Chuck. And then the next thing you know, she's bringing a girl for protection. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah, she's adding somebody protection. to the date. I need that for protection. Yeah, protection. I want to be with you. I don't want to be with her. Right. right. And she goes, well, we want you to come. I don't want to go now. I said goodbye. <laughs> How'd you meet this chick? So, I, I we was at a function. Actually, I, I met at the Rambo function. Right. I was at, actually here a couple of days before I went to the Rambo. Right. And then she, we talked about that. And she was there with some people. And I said hello and everything else. Are you getting laid, though? You, you have any... Uh, d d d I mean, I can't imagine after something like that, you didn't go out and get laid somewhere. Not, not, not with her that night. That's no, for sure. Huh? No. Wow. But uh, we were doing that. And it just pissed me off. And like I says, in California, it seems that they disrespectful out there. In New York, they, t they know. Hey, you, you, you fuck with somebody's girlfriend, you're going to get beat up, shot, Maybe people don't know who you, Maybe they didn't realize who you were, you know? I mean... Well, they, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Right. Uh, you know, a guy, a man's supposed to respect somebody else's uh, uh, you're you right. know, girlfriend and everything. But how and the guy was guy, bigger than me. Yeah, but how is that guy supposed to know? She's out there by herself smoking a cigarette. Well, I, I shouldn't have blamed him. I blamed right. her, too. So he was heated left. up. And then I, I was just pissed off because I'm waiting with my guests in there and she's right. out there talking to this guy. And the guy was like twice my size anyway. Right. At least take a shot at me. Right. No, try <laughs> take the, Take the shot. You're he very wasn't intimidating. that interested in the girl. So, <laughs> you know, a lot of times I would see you around with Pam Anderson. I know yes. you were friends. Yes. I feel yeah. you've finally gotten her pants. Because, why do you say I'll that? I'll tell you why. In 2007, it was reported that Chuck dated Pam Anderson. They were seen cuddling Whoa. and kissing on New Year's Eve in Las Vegas. He claims, really? He always claims they're just friends. 
But you're always around there. There seems to be something going Cuddling. on. Cuddling. She's always calling you when she comes to town. I believe you fucked Pam Anderson. I do. I do, Chuck. And I think Bye-bye. you ought to... Come on. What happened? Did you fuck her or not? I told you. You fucked I her. I would love to tell you and 20 million people, million other people I've banged Pam. Nothing. We're just friends. No kidding. I Till can't this believe day, this. I did Is not bang Pam Anderson. Cuddling among you friends? Well, there's a little cuddling there, but there's no uh, no banging. Was there kissing? Yeah, we kissed. It was New Year's. Oh, you were making out a little and cuddling? A little. Boy, if she went that far, you think Man. she'd uh, yeah, fuck you? Yeah, why didn't you try to... Well, she went that far. You think she'd blow me, right? Right. At least <laughs> a blow you right? you know, What the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe what you're telling me. I, nah, I, we're I friends. Really we're can't. friends. She's she's a dear friend. She calls me, of course, when she comes to town. She calls you, too, I'm sure. She does always call. She's oh, very... my girl's calling you? Uh, What's going yeah. on over there? Oh, don't worry. I'll buy you drinks. Don't worry. <laughs> don't, worry. don't worry about it. Uh, by the way, you can check out Chuck Zito's website. What's going on on the website? ChuckZito.com. Chuck Zito. What do we do Actually, this there? is my new shirts I came up with. We, we, we have uh, this new Italian bad boy wear that I'm selling. Yes. Clothing is your Clothing thing line. now? Clothing yes. line. Clothing okay. line. Oh, we're trying. Right. We're trying. And uh, what else goes on there? Uh, we have uh, just a bunch of pictures. We have uh, my book we still sell on there. In right. fact, I'm uh, in the middle of my second book now. No kidding. Yes. What do you mean a second book? What's, um, it, what's that? Well, about? my first book ends in 1998. Right. So, so from is... 98 till now, uh, ten uh-huh. years later, I've been arrested a dozen times and and uh, back to jail and all that shit. Since 98. Since 98. You've been busy. I've what, been busy. <laughs> what is it, Fluff Off Lowly? Would you like to hear a very amusing Chuck Zito story that yes. one of the guys just told me? So apparently, you know, Doug, who uh, works here, when he lived in the city, used to have parties. Right. And Chuck came to one of his parties, and everybody was having a good time, and then it came time to leave. And I guess Chuck got on his motorcycle. It was late. It was making a lot of noise. So a woman came out and started yelling at him about his motorcycle. Yeah. Yes. And he's like, just be quiet whenever she goes, you know what? I'm going to go get my husband. He's a karate instructor. Oh, and no. you're in big trouble. Oh, Guy Jesus. walks out, lays eyes on Chuck. He goes, Mr. Zito, I'm so sorry. My wife has no idea what she's talking about. And she'll, learn, <laughs> she'll learn to love the sound of a motorcycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. She was Man. so upset about the bike. She came out and started saying it. So, of course, I'm... In Manhattan, she's upset yeah, about Manhattan. a bike? Well, I, well, Doug lives on a quiet street, I guess. I guess so. So I she mean. starts yelling at me. And then I start saying, like, suck my what? She goes, what did you say? I said, you heard me. She got a husband. Who he is? came out. <laughs> I, I tell you that. So take a couple of calls. Chuck Zito. Frank, you're on the air in Longview, Washington. Go ahead, uh, Frank. Yeah, I slapped Chuck. He didn't say anything. You slapped Chuck? <laughs> yeah, right. I died. Right. I'm the doctor that delivered him. Oh, oh. you're the doctor that delivered him. There you go. That was the last that man that slapped you. That was the last time. Yeah. Well, I got to go arrange foster care for the kids now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. There he, he slapped you. He was the doctor that brought you into the world. Yes, Mark, go ahead in Boston. Hey, now. Hey, now. Hey, uh, Chuck, I've been around a couple of broads that are even worse than the one that you went out with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They deserve a slap. I never had the balls to slap them because I'm not a man because they definitely deserved it. Have you ever done anything like that? Well, I never smacked a girl in my life. I never touched a girl. You never have? Never. So never. a real man? I was man... married 30 years to my wife, never cracked her. I but should have, though. <laughs> <laughs> After we... what I found out. Yeah. Uh... There were times you wanted to. Oh, yeah. Well, what if especially... they uh, pull a knife on you? <laughs> they yeah, pull a knife do you on do if a woman hey, pulls a knife on you? Now, what, what, no woman's going to pull a knife on Chuck. But what, wait a uh, minute. We talk about all the... T- we were talking about uh, Jerry O'Connell, as a matter of fact. Rebecca Romaine mm. gave him a shot. Yeah, yeah. Did you hear this? Jerry O'Connell was on. He says uh, one of the things that bothered him was that Rebecca, you know, Rebecca Romaine, yeah, sure, beautiful sure, sure, woman. Sure, sure, sure. He walked in the door John's and she... John's old wife. She threw, yeah, right. She threw a punch at him and it landed right in the neck and almost knocked him out. She's a very powerful woman. You know that. <laughs> and uh, if a woman like that does hit you, what do you do, Chuck? I mean, it gives you a real shot to the neck. I what do you do? Her. You laugh, laugh at her. You beat up her husband. Bang the shit out of her. Well, Laugh depends on what. Then bang the shit out of her. Bang her heart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like a love tap. No man should ever be hurt by a woman hitting them, right? No, not really. No. Well, it depends. It can what, happen. What girl it is. It can happen. I mean, you can I get caught the, off guard. I went to the fights over there and saw that Gina Carano. She's bad. Yes. She's, she's, <laughs> she what kicks is, the mask. Right? What is going on with this ultimate fighting? I know you keep talking about actually Well, actually, we, we were just talking about, uh, uh, yes, I wanted to uh, fight just to see how I do and all that. And uh, But I'm asking for a lot of money. I'm asking right. for $5 million. And <laughs> somebody just says, well, we're not going to pay that. Nobody gets that much. But right. what we'll do, we'll give you a percentage of the pay-per-view. Okay. So now I'm thinking about that. That just happened over this weekend. All right. And 
they're talking like uh, two dollars a pay per view. So if you get a million people, that's two million million dollars right there. If you get more, right. And of course, with all our listeners and all the fans I have now, thanks to you, yes, uh, we might get a lot more. So, so the we, percentage we, yeah. would be maybe like a fifty percent kind of thing. Well, no, it's not fifty percent. They're only saying two dollars a pay per view. Oh, two two dollars a person you would yeah. get. Yeah. Wow. So it's wow. like fifty dollars, I think, to watch these things now. Right now, how do you know they're being? Well, they'll be honest with you. I don't think anyone's going to lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does come over. So we're, we're talking about that, and then I found out some uh, some actually uh, a uh, um, nightclub in Vegas wants to put up the whole five million. So oh, no kidding. But a lot of people talk shit, Howard. You know right. that. But you wouldn't I mean, get in the ring because, like, when Tito Ortiz was here, I think he kind of makes it seem. I, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm quoting him accurately, so don't you know? But I think he thinks he could beat you up in two seconds. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Well, yeah, he he's said that it wouldn't take long. Wouldn't take long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you said, I, what was the he quote? Said, Robin? He said, actually, "I don't remember exactly." I know exact he, quote. He says, says "I'll beat Chuck Zito. I'll beat Mike Tyson. I'll beat Lennox Lewis, and I would have beat Bruce Lee." Right. That's all. Well, now you're getting about Bruce. Lee, now we got to do something. Yeah, well, Tito said, in Tito's defense, he said Chuck's a real tough guy. Nah, but Tito's a dear friend of mine. Yeah, and he said he's friends with yours, and he said the age thing was what he was talking about more. But, you know what? Yeah, but Chuck looks like it's, he's it's, 30 it's, uh, years uh, old. Basically, tell you the truth, I'm in the best sh shape of my life right now. Chuck I've never trained so much as I am now. I lost 31 pounds. I did years ago. I wish years ago I've trained this much. If Tito Ortiz is a dear friend of yours, have yes. you ever said to him privately, Tito, yeah. look, I got to test my skills. Sure. Let's go somewhere where I can fight you in a, you know, in a ring somewhere. You know, we don't have to go full force, but I need yeah. to know, do I have the goods to be an ultimate fighter? Well, I know I have the goods. I don't have to do that. Right. So you've never I actually... I have the goods because I, my hands, my stand-up is great. It's just I'm doing more, more ground and pound now. Uh, these guys also, you need a big wrestling background in order to be an ultimate fighter. Well, a lot of guys are. Right. You know, guys like uh, uh, um, you know, Matt Lindlin and, and Randy Couture and all those guys are, are, have wrestling backgrounds. Right. They were college wrestlers and everything. But right. So basically it's wrestling. Right. It's none of this uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu stuff they're saying. You know, Fifteen years ago, nobody heard of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. That's what Tito said. He said, if you're a high school wrestler, that's the best And Tito was a high school wrestler yeah. also. Right. Yeah. Tito's but, a good, but, and actually, he got robbed his last fight. I thought he beat the guy. So that's, maybe, what yeah, that's what he was saying. Yeah, yeah. So maybe yeah. you could be the ultimate fighting champion. I, well, I, could, I, could, I certainly could do it. I'm not worried about it. That's why I want to fight. <laughs> Even though I'm 55 years old and I'll be fighting guys half my age, I don't care. You yeah, just, why do it for free, right? You just I'm not going to do it for free, that's for no. sure. You know when you get in there, you're going to beat the fucking piss out of these guys. Do you realize yeah. what that'll be yeah. if you do that? Well, take take this guy that's saying Kimbo Slice now. He's great. He's this, he's that. They had a 19,000-seat arena at the uh, 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 Prudential Center, this new right. in Jersey. They sold 8,000 tickets. There's 11,000 empty seats. Wow. I know if I fought, I would definitely... Back the I, place out. I would fill the place with people. Yeah, I know that. Uh, don't you wish he could fight these guys with no gloves, though? So he could crack them right in the fucking well, head? Well, you have no gloves. There's no gloves? Well, you, don't wear, you have to wear these little mitts. Yeah, mitts. Pads, yeah. You don't want to wear See, them. years ago, when they first started, there was no rules. Right. You were allowed to pull hair, hitting the balls. <laughs> Everything. Uh, 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 no, no uh, you know, bare knuckle. Right. Now they change it because they want to... Uh, legitimize it. Legitimize it a little, because they still don't have it in New York City. They're trying to... Pass it in New York City. I think if you could get one good punch, I know if, into I know this fucking guy's face, you would win. <laughs> I know I can. But what if you can't get to the guy? What if? He's oh, I'll so get to the guy. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, go. see, because they the fight guy. with their legs and feet. I get to the guys. Yeah. See, I'm a huge boxing fan. Where this loses it for me is when they get down on the ground for like an hour. I know they're, they're on the ground for like around, an hour. Yeah. You know, it's very real. rarely an hour though. Well, that's what why well, they I mean, change the rules it because seems that way, before there was no rounds. Right. right, and you would be down there forty-five minutes an hour. Right, and then it got boring, of course, and people. That's why they stand up now after oh, okay, after yeah. a certain uh, time limit. If you're not right. doing it, if you're holding each other, they stop the fight. They stand you back up. Oh, right. Now they have rounds. They have three five-minute rounds, so, and the championship is five five-minute rounds. So your strategy, if I got it right, yeah. you don't want to give away your whole secret, but if your strategy would be get in the ring. Hold your ground until you get a shot at this guy's head, and then just pound him one right in the face. Right? Would that be the? Oh, we we stand up and just uh, pound each other. What if the guy tries to g grab you around the yeah, legs and throw you down? Yeah, with the legs. Or you can do that. You, you sprawl. You get away from it, and we'll go down. I mean, I'm doing my um pretty good on the ground too now. So right, and you can also kick the guy right in the fucking head, right? Because you know karate. Uh, if yeah, step well yeah, of course. When you step on his head. But now you have rules too. <laughs> you can't knee him when you're down. When he's down, can you, you can can't you, hit him. You can't do this. If he's can't. down on the ground, can't you take him? Smash his head with your foot? Can't you step on his head? No, no. you can't change those rules too. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting boring anymore. now. It's getting yeah. very. What do you mean? Before, you... when it was standing up, they used to crack you in the face. Yeah, they changed. When he's down, you cannot stomp the face. You cannot knee in the face. That's why uh, recently Frank Shamrock 
got disqualified against Henzo Gracie. You need him in the head. I see. Need you him ca- back you in the gotta you gotta do this. Yeah, I gotta do it. Well, somebody will come up somebody'll he... come up with the uh with, with the uh, Just money. don't get hurt. I'll try not to. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, got movies to do. Are you scared Wait. at all of doing this? No. Not you would not even be scared. If I was scared I wouldn't want to do it. Right. And let me tell you, Howard, I wouldn't embarrass myself and go in there and not be in shape. I right. want to make sure I'm in the best shape of my life. I wouldn't embarrass myself. Perfect. So I wouldn't do that. See, but a contract but, like the two bucks per pay, that's actually a good deal. You don't have to worry about all that bullshit percentage of this where they could fuck you. If it's two bucks for everyone, you know that's what yeah. you're getting. Well, you we're know? talking about that now. Somebody just called this weekend and uh, we're talking about the uh, percentage of the uh, pay-per-view because I know it would be a big, big pay-per-view. Yeah, I believe it would that be. That might be a good way to go then. Yeah. We're doing these uh, other things. Like I said, we, I, I just finished this uh, rebound with Catherine Zeta-Jones. I'm right. working on uh, Pelham 1-2-3 with Denzel Washington and John Travolta. We just did that Look yesterday. at you. Look at you. I'm, fi- I'm stuntman now. When's the last time? Getting... When's the last time you got laid? Um, well, he didn't get that girl the other day. No, 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 <laughs> no. Text message girl. <laughs> Nothing like. That. You'll she never get married again. Be... No. Why never. not? You're unless not if fall I, unless in I love? have kids, unless I have kids, I get married. But but you why? but you 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 know. You're aren't not you tired? Give love a try? Of, aren't you tired of chasing all this pussy all the time? Not really. <laughs> You're not. You like to chase. <laughs> <laughs> and you never find one never that really turns you no, on no, and you no, want to stay you with. You know what? I, I I don't know what it is. I don't know because don't I was married like so women? long for thirty years. Yeah. I had this girl, you know, a couple of nights ago at the house, and we had a good time. And I have a big bed. I Where'd you meet this one? Um, scores. No kidding. Yeah. Wait, she was a customer or a stripper? Yes, yeah, stripper. Stripper, go ahead. Yeah. So we went, Look at we you. went, 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 went uh, to my house and... Uh, what happened? She said, we, hey, Chuck, you We had a good time. We were banging. We were doing this. We were sucking fucking everything. <laughs> and yeah. then I came and everything was cool and I started to doze off a little. And the next thing you know, she puts her arm around me. I like to go to sleep. I saw her, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm done. We just came. Go on your side. It's a big bed. <laughs> Don't touch me. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. I fucked that, man. Oh, my yeah. goodness. No cuddling with now, Chuck? No, no, no. Now, Chuck, cuddling once, is good with some people, but sometimes it's just... But once you say to a woman, after you've fucked her, you've sucked her, you've done it all... Get and over she's, to your and she, side. To say to her, get over on your side. <laughs> no, I mean, no. Uh, d- d- no. She never no. saw you again, I bet, after that, right? No. She was mad, right? <laughs> That's disrespectful. That's not disrespectful. You know, it's this time. It's like a time to sleep, and there's a time to come, and there's a time to yeah. rest, and that was rest time. And now, wait a minute, Chuck. Do you ever, <laughs> do you ever <laughs> date these women more than a few times? I mean, do you, do you get like, right in there right away all the time? <laughs> Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Is that That's like my sister Cindy, I tell her, right? Yeah. She goes, I says, the last girl I just met was 18 years old. Right. She goes, what kind of conversation <laughs> could you have with an 18-year-old girl? I said, sin. I'm not having with these girls to have conversations. <laughs> but let me ask exactly. you, you I mean, seriously. They, they, I mean, We're worried uh, about you. When you say that to a woman, yeah. she, she doesn't come back for more, right? That was right. it. You insulted her. Uh, it's not an insult. It's just that, like I said, at a certain time, I'm... Mm-hmm. So you two, will, the rest. you two will not see each other again. Is that correct? It was a one night. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. See? Yeah. See? Where is... Uh, Who? Baba. Benji. Look I, at did, I didn't do that. Look at his face. <laughs> Show him Chuck all the blood coming out of your mouth. He's still bleeding. He's still bleeding. Yeah, he's... I just got a call from uh, your ex there or whatever the fuck. Ivy. Oh, I read about Ivy in, in the news. She called me the other yeah. day to say she wants somebody beat up. <laughs> right? She calls me. I said, call Benji. Don't call me. Yeah, you get, you're not getting laid. <laughs> it's like uh, I thought it was a setup, man. Yeah. She but goes, I, I'll pay you money to get my money back or something. Oh I don't know. God. About a what, family. I said, right, do me a favor. Do not call. I don't want to hear you. Yeah, right. You're not She's, looking to do hits on people. Forget about it. Right. The paper said she might be in some trouble. Yeah. Benji, I didn't realize how serious it was. Ivy's in big trouble, right? Yeah, we 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 don't go out anymore. But uh, yeah, she went to jail Friday. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 But she's out now. She's out oh, of jail. Yeah, there's now. a little bit of a story. I don't know if you want to do it now or later, but <laughs> maybe some there's other. There's always time. a okay. story. You've been in it's jail. Always a story. What was it like when you were you were in, ja- in a Japanese jail? I was in Japanese prison for, for four months. F- four months. Why what? were you in Japanese prison? <laughs> well, actually, I was in Japan when this whole whole bust happened in '85. And I was with uh, John Jett and Bon Jovi. They were out there. And this was before Bon Jovi for was anything. I mean, uh-huh. they came back to the state. They became very big. So this is uh, probably back in the 80s. 80, 85. Okay. And then they had a big raid against the Hells Angels in the United States. And they uh, raided my home. Right. And I was with there with actually 20 Hells Angels. We were out there uh, to uh, vote on a Japanese charter. Right. But they never made it, so... You mean you were thinking of starting a Hells Angels branch in Japan? In Japan, yeah. Right. So do you think they arrest you to keep you from 
starting a new no, branch? No, 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 no. They had a big uh, uh, nationwide sweep for a couple of years. They had this uh, investigation, and they had I was one of them right. that they raided my home. So I surrendered to the American Embassy out there mm-hmm. because I didn't want to get caught on the plane. I and see. show good faith and surrender. Right. Uh-huh. So they hand me over to Japanese police. Instead of, and they were supposed to put me on a plane the next day to, to fly back to the uh, United States. Right. And they put me in there for uh, four months waiting to be extradited. Wow. So I was in Japanese prison for four Ew. months. Why do you think uh, they kept you in the Japanese prison as, as opposed to just taking you right out of there? Because that's the uh, treaty they had between Japan that you have to extradite people. So would you say to the... And, and Japanese so they prison... they just me when I went over there. They said, well, we'll send you back tomorrow. So okay, cool. Is Japanese prison ten times worse than American prison? And the worst prison in the United States is like a hotel compared to Japan. Why is it so bad in Japan? But it wasn't bad for me because I was locked down 23 hours a day. Okay. So And I was separated from the rest of the prisons because it was all Japanese uh, prisoners. Right. But they don't... Like the jails here, you watch TV, you play pool, you, you, you do courses right. over there, you're locked down. Uh, they have like a foot long, a foot wide mat down the whole corridor, the whole the whole uh, tier. Right. And you have to walk on that mat, single file, you can't talk to each other. Wow. Nothing. No, no, no. But don't they serve that fabulous sushi? Uh, <laughs> yeah, is it like going to Nobu? <laughs> is there like Nobu, free Nobu? <laughs> I don't know. I was living on white bread in the water a day. No <laughs> kidding. I didn't, I didn't eat the stuff they were having, man. It was like fish heads and... Fucking Ooh, octopus. Fish, shit, man. fish heads. <laughs> shit crawling around in the fucking soup and shit. I said, oh, fuck that, man. man. So you literally lived for four Ooh. months on bread and water. Bread and water. No kidding. Literally. And you probably lost a lot of weight. No, man. actually, I gained weight because the uh, I was training every day. I was doing a thousand push-ups a day and sit-ups. What That's you all do, I did. What did you do in your cell all day for four months? Did you just sit there? <laughs> Talk to yourself. Do they have any books in English that you could read or something? Uh, actually, they had a couple. I had some sent in. Right. So my wife at the time was uh, sending my, 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 my books in and all. So I was allowed to get some, uh, I think, a, a letter a week. A letter Jeez. a week. And, and you were allowed to get a book. Wow. So wow. Now, they, why wouldn't they let you out into the regular population? Uh, that's the uh, the rules they have there. They don't let any, uh, like... Uh, foreigners. Foreigners in with the, uh, the wow. prisons in case something happens, I guess. But it sounds awful. Meanwhile, I was twice the size of all these guys. These guys were small. But then they had some big, like, sumo guys as uh, guards. She didn't fuck around there. Right. Man, no TV, huh? <laughs> TV. You're lucky if you had a radio there, man. Forget about it. They had nothing. Wow. They had nothing. And they so used you to just play st- in the morning. So what do you, how do, you, what do, you, do you go insane? I mean, you're just staring at a wall. Basically. It, it was takes- a six by eight foot cell, and you were there 23 hours a day. Wow. Then they wow. took you out for an hour, and they put me in a cage outside. Wow. And all the other inmates would just look at me, and they, uh, a lot of people would say, Rocky, 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 Rocky. <laughs> Rocky. Rocky. And uh, I was like, Rocky, 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 Rocky. And it was, it was pretty on, wild. Man. I mean, I could laugh about it now, but it was uh, pretty wild. It wasn't wild. good then. It wasn't good then. You, listen, no, no disrespect, but do you ever break down and cry when something like that's going on? Does Chuck Zito cry? Does, could, will Chuck Zito cry in a bad situation like that? And no one would fault you for doing it. Uh, no, I've, uh, I've cried sometimes at night there. You, you know, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah, it's I'm a sad, shit, it's you know? sad, yeah. And, uh, you know, especially things going on now, my my niece and all that stuff. Right. Hey. You're a human being. Exactly. Some people think you're not. Some people think you're uh, Superman. Well, Superman. I do worry, yeah. though, about this whole thing of not really wanting to get close to a woman. <laughs> like, uh, I'm an asshole. You know what, Robin? Robin I've, is I've, disturbed. I've, 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 I've been with some uh, girls, and... Uh, hey, someone told like me, a, like you a, banged three girls in a four-hour span. Is that correct? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, you it's did? kind of tough to that get was close when you're doing that. Oh. What that happened in Vegas? In Vegas? In I know Vegas. they say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But <laughs> That's for my a bunch of bullshit, man. Right. Shit happened in Vegas. Everybody knew about it before I even got home. You know what? <laughs> it's not like the old days. Yeah. You know what I find the doesn't wire. stay in. You know what I find doesn't stay in Vegas. Herpes. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> not like what do you mean you bang three girls in a four-hour span? How does that even? Well, I was at the Hard Rock Hotel that night, and I picked uh, 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 one girl up at the pool. Went upstairs, and we had a good time. And then I was off. I went to see uh, Carson Daly. He was right. performing that night. He was at his show. Right. And before I walked in, there some girls, and I had my my uh, my uh, fedora on, my right. fedora I wear, my my long duster. She goes, "Oh, that's a nice hat." So I turn around, I saw this like six foot beautiful model, man. I said, "Wow." I says, "Where are you going?" She goes, "Mandalay Bay." And I said, "I think I told you the story once." I, I I think I've said it on my show. I says, "Mandalay Bay." I said, "Well, I'm going to go see Carson. Would you like to come to the show with me?" Yeah, I'll I'll come in with you. I said, "All right." So we start talking. Got my arm around and she's sitting on a chair and I'm standing up over one of those uh, 
bar stools. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm talking to her. I said, oh, by the way, what do you do? She goes, I work. I said, I know. What do you do? She goes, I work. I said, oh, okay. I said, well, how much do you work for? Right. <laughs> she goes, $1,000. I said, look, I just want you an hour. I don't want you for the whole night. She goes, that is an hour. I said, I'll, I'll tell you what, baby. I said, go back to Mandalay Bay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's when she says, what the uh, battery say to the potato chip? I says, what? She goes, whenever you're ready, I'm free to lay. Wow. I took her upstairs. A I'm freebie. Bringing. Free. A freebie. So, so you got to feel pretty good about your appearance and your looks and your demeanor because when a whore, a prostitute, yeah. offers you her services for free. Yeah. I mean that's quite a compliment, isn't it? I guess she was she was pretty wild. So Thousand dollars, come on! Come on. <laughs> you banged her, and you, did you tip her? Did you give her anything? I tip, you tip. I gave tip on my dick. That's how you. <laughs> and then so that's two girls. <laughs> now we're the third one. Comes. So, the same one. Yeah. We went down. We were in the uh, uh, right after, after. Well, she left right after. Uh, right after you banged her. Yeah. And I went downstairs. They have that that bar in the middle of uh, 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 the Hard Rock Circle. So you've been there before. Yeah, yeah circle, that's. Pretty wild. Yeah, there. that's always I a good time. Another girl there. You think you'd be drained at this point? And not even. No, not for some reason. You know, when you get a new one, you just <laughs> if you're with the same old one, rejuvenate, right? Uh, yeah, you yeah. rejuvenate yourself, man. Right. Bam, it's true. That's true. Bam, it was. It's I was married thirty years. It was time makeup time, man. Now you don't. It's use... almost like fishing. I mean, uh, all of a sudden, some days you can catch three, four, five fish. <laughs> but you're not a Cialis or Viagra guy. <laughs> oh, no, wait a no, second. I don't need that I'll yet. take care of this, Chuck. I don't need that. How dare you? <laughs> but you know what? I I'll tried. Over, let me tell I you come something. Over there and slap I you. tried that. That's a bunch of bullshit. Really? That's a bunch of bullshit. You they tried say, Cialis? Uh, Viagra. Viagra. It don't do any. Fam, if I come, I'll go right there back down. Uh -huh. The same way. They're saying you're for erection for four hours. That's bullshit. No, they you're say looking you... for that four hour. Oh, erection. I'm looking for that. What <laughs> they you say your erection, though, is stronger and harder with the Viagras. You know what it does, though? You're able to recoup faster. Right. I saw that. Yeah. All right. And actually, Hank Garrett, we do a big martial arts thing for uh, uh, Alan Goldberg. He's got to say, he says, you ever see that commercial Viagra? Right. If you have an erection for more than four hours, call your doctor. Yeah. If I have an erection for more than four hours, I'm going to call every girl I've ever met in my life. <laughs> well, you're not kidding. I well, wasted. Yeah, you don't need a doctor. <laughs> Isn't it true you were arrested because you refused to take your jacket off? Is yes, that true? Yes. That How, was does that Fox Fox How does that happen to you? How does that happen to you? I don't know, man. That was ha happening in Foxwoods Casino. Yeah. I went to go see the uh, Van der Holyfield John Ruiz fight. Take, and your, take your jacket. I had my Hells Angel jacket on at the time when I was a Hells Angel. Yeah. And I got there for an hour. I was signing autographs and taking pictures with everybody. Right. right. Then I went to the uh, box office to get my tickets because HBO invited me because right. I, I was still doing Oz at the time. Uh -huh. And they used to invite all the Oz and Sopranos and Sex and the City people. So I turned around and could walk into the uh, arena and there was four guys with suits on. He says, uh, you're going to have to take that jacket off before you come in here. That's what he's talking about. Because he goes, it was a uh, motorcycle. Hell's Angels, yeah. Hell's Angels. No Hell's, he said no Hells Angels allowed. I said, yeah. I didn't see no sign when I walked in here. Right. I said, I was just here for an hour signing autographs. It was okay. Now you're telling me to take my jacket. I said, I'm not taking it off. But isn't the Hells Angels jacket almost artwork at this point? I mean, it's a very common name. Uh, I mean, well, a lot of people. Uh, what do they think? Is yeah. something's going to yeah. happen? What do they yeah. think? Yeah. So then he says, I said, I'm not taking my jacket off. You think you have to leave. I said, I'm not leaving either. I'm a guest of HBO. I'm not leaving. So do what you got to do. I'm going in to see a fight. With that, they got on a walk of talkie, man, and about 30 cops came in from uh, uh, Connecticut State Police. Right. And they came up to me and said, what's the problem? I said, well, you tell me. This guy's telling me I have to take the jacket off. He said, well, they don't want you in there with the jacket. It's crazy. And I said, well, what's, that's, that, I said the same thing. That's crazy. Right. He goes, well, they're afraid it's going to incite violence. I said, I'm going to a fucking boxing match where two guys are going to kill each other. <laughs> that doesn't incite violence. it's going violence. to incite violence? Are you crazy? <laughs> 30 they cops said, coming in there yeah. in a it's going to incite violence. So, I mean, so that's shit. what happened. And then now what's great about it, I have, I'm through my second book. But did I'm you get that. to go in with your jacket on? You got to go in. I got yeah. arrested. You got arrested. I got arrested. You were in jail. So, yeah, I went to jail. First they <laughs> said, well, they just stay. And the guys, and I have this, I have this the uh, surveillance right. uh, video of that day with all these cops around me. And I went crazy. I had my long fringe jacket. I had my Hells Angel patch on. And I... I Put my finger on all their faces. I said, I'm not taking my jacket off. He says, you, you can see him. Well, just fold it over your arm and you can just walk in. I said, I'm not taking it off. Read my I'm not taking it off. There's no compromise here. Exactly. I said, you're telling me a guy with a Yankees jacket or something, you're going to tell him to take it off? Right. And then at the wind-up boys, he goes, well, you're going to have to, like, uh, an hour. He goes, well, we don't want to do this. I said, well, you're condoning what they do. They said, well, this is a sovereign nation. They do have their own laws. I said, no, no, you don't. you're a Connecticut State Police. Right. You're saying that it's right and you know it's wrong. 
And I got on my, I got on the phone with Ron Kuby, the lawyer. Right, right. I, I'm on listening to him. You see me on on, on a surveillance <laughs> talk to my lawyer, right? <laughs> saying how far I could push and all. He goes, well, they can't tell you to take it off. It's against your uh, rights and all that stuff. And right. then finally they said, well, take it off or leave. I said, I'm not doing both. And, and this they, is, they arrested me. And this is a big insult to you because the Hell's Angels are like a family to you. This is I your tell him, I said life. that's what it was. I said it's my religion. That's why I, I believe in. Uh, right. At the time. Uh, I'm not what, taking what, it off. Uh, do, do you never do you never wear Hell's Angels stuff now because you no know more, it? no more. Anything that had said Hell's Angels goes back to the club. The club owns that. So my jacket, everything, my belt, belt, uh, belt buckle, uh, yeah, rings. Yeah, give all that back. Everything back. Yeah, really. They everything didn't say back. to you, "Hey, Chuck, you're a member of good standing." <laughs> they don't care. Uh, they don't. I was a 25 year member. They don't care, man. It goes back to the club. It belongs to the club. Anything and you understood says, that, of course. You you understand that when you. Can you still visit the club as oh, a friend? Oh yeah, yeah, sure. You're in good sure. standing, aren't Actually, you? Actually, the people I was with in uh, uh, with from Hell, you know, Hell's Angels from British Columbia, Randy Jones was in uh, Rayo's with me with the girl. Oh, okay. So actually, I, I traded him for a. He had a beautiful '68 Dodge Charger. I'm into cars now. Right. And uh, also, we've met a friend of yours. You know the kid, uh, Evan Metropolis? Yeah. Yes, Evan. Yeah, yeah the tuna got... fish kid. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I went to his house the other day. Bumblebee? Right, right. right. Yeah, 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 Bumblebee the kid? Bumblebee. Yeah. Bumblebee. The Bumblebee kid. Yeah, yeah. That kid's He's... got a plane. He he lives right behind the uh, Beverly Hills Hotel. Wow. Like in a $20 million mansion. <laughs> yeah. Probably more. And he's, he's and he very goes, generous. Yeah, he's a very nice guy. Uh, actually, that's what I want to talk to. Was they want to do my movie now. Oh. Uh, my book into a movie. Let so them do they're, it. They're, they're interested in doing it. That's good. So he knows I'm a big car buff. And he goes, well, come see my car. So we go out to the pool. They got this big pool with all these pillars. And, and they have cabanas and steam rooms. And they had this other door. We walk in the door. And we get in. It's a little room. I said, well, this is the elevator. Right. He said, we're going down to my garage. <laughs> little which room. Which is three stories below his pool. Wow. It was bigger wow. than a Japanese prison, that thing. Right. Wow. This kid's and, got some dough. Oh, he's got money, and he's got some beautiful cars. He's got unrestored cars. Not restored. Right. Unrestored that look Just like he's pristine, came out of his showroom. Huh? Wow. Pristine. Wow, that's he's something. He's got a 427, 67, 427 Corvette, 800,000. He's Whew. got a uh, 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 57 a Mercedes, the gold wing door. It's a million dollars. Wow. Ugh. Well, how many miles do they have on those cars? Like, it just wasn't driven You can't walk over to him and just clonk him on the head and take his car. <laughs> 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 That's the old days. Uh, Chuck, about. it's always great seeing you. By the way, you got to remember that Chuck does tonight. A, tonight. Tonight. Tonight is one of Chuck's shows. Tonight's you my tune show. In. You're going to have a co-host with you. You usually bring one of your friends. And I have my friend Frankie DeBuna comes in. and yeah. uh, They used to have a friend who couldn't even mention his name. Yeah, yeah we couldn't well, mention his name. Can you mention his name well, now? What happened got, with that guy? Is he all right? Yeah, he got busted back in. Oh, uh, back in all that stuff. So he's in jail now? Uh, no, he actually him. got got back out, so I can't even mention this. He's a prison. Uh, he's violated, a he violated. He violated. He got back. So, but he, we, we have a show. Only, you're the only guy on this channel who has co hosts you that can't you mention. can't even mention their name. <laughs> <laughs> you're the only guy who has that. Did you know that? I am, right? Yes. Yeah, so so we got to be. That. This is two months, Howard. My fans are uh, uh, yelling at me. They love it. Yeah, what and happened? And we have, we have, I don't know what happened. They love the show. First, I don't we, know. Did, we did a, a week apart, two weeks apart, then it went a month apart. Now, tonight, you know what two it was? months. I think I know what it was. What's Tim Sabian, on? our program director, yeah. is mad at you. You were supposed to get him to lose weight, and you didn't well, come I through. He's found no, 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 that's failure. his. Yeah. No, that's his own fault. <laughs> because when he leaves me in the gym, he goes, feeds his face. He yeah. can't do that. You have to, I can't be with you 24 7. He's your one failure. But no, he says, I got to talk to you. Yeah. Well, you're me. the boss. <laughs> I'm the boss. You're serious, you're man. You're Mr. Serious. I say put you on every week. <laughs> Check out Chuck Zito's website at chuckzito.com. Check down. out Chuck tonight. It's a big show. You got a anything special planned? He has been there in two months. He must yeah. have. He must have something. Yeah, we got stuff. So we'll probably say the same story that I told you before with the girl. <laughs> well, we got other that. stories. We got the got uh, new stories. We have, uh, like I said, the movie I've been doing. I went to go see this guy, uh, Vinny Favorito. You ever hear him? He's a comedian. Yeah, I know. Vinny Favorito. Yeah. Yeah. I will go to Vegas. I saw him the first night. He's unbelievable. And this Fun. guy feeds off the thudding. Right. You got to see him. If you're ever in Vegas, he's at the... Uh, yeah, I heard he's great, that guy. Yeah. He's um, unbelievable. He'll, he'll feed off the audience. Oh, he'll yeah. see a beautiful girl. And he doesn't just pick in the front. Right. In the front row. All the way in the back. He's, I see you back there, but he'll see like a beautiful girl. What's your name? He's so beautiful. Oh, Marie. Well, what are you doing, Marie? Well, I'm housewife. We just got married. Who is this? Your husband? Yeah, yeah. this is my, my husband, Tom. We're here. We just got married. Who's this beautiful lady next to you? This is my mother. But no comedian ever comes up to you and starts talking about no, you, I hope. He says, I mean, that actually introduces me. He does. So he says he, to the mother, he goes, so how do they make your new son-in-law banging your daughter? Right. <laughs> so the girl will get all like uh, bent out of shape and get embarrassed. Right. He goes, what's the matter? You don't think your mother blew your father? <laughs> And then she used to kiss you goodnight with those lips. <laughs> you know, this is the kind of guy it was. He now, was just if a comedian came up to you, yeah. 
And let's say you were sitting there with your sister or your mother. He starts yeah. saying, hey, what's the matter? Didn't you ever blow your husband? And this, <laughs> he, no one would do that to you, though, right? No one would ever make fun of I you. I don't think so. No, I don't Because think so. I would definitely get up on the stage for that one. <laughs> definitely. And he worries about it. If but he's so fucking funny, why does he make a few jokes about Chuck Zito? I don't understand. <laughs> Because it wouldn't be funny. <laughs> it can I, be, can I, you know, I'm funny. a fan of Chuck Show. Can I make a request? Yo. I want you to tell a story tonight that ends with you fucking a chick while you're beating up a guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That would have been nice at the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the Rayos thing that night, but it wasn't happening. Yeah. Have and you then, ever come close to actually fucking a chick and then punching out some guy at the same time, like it walks in the room or you have to beat someone up while you're having sex? How would I'm having sex in my room? Who's going to walk in my room? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Nobody Crazy things happen. It's not you like, know? Uh, you know, I'm in a bathroom like Maybe you're bodyguarding someone, but you're fucking abroad, and they start to mess around, so you knock the guy out, and you keep banging the broad? No, no. Not no. like that. <laughs> something, <laughs> something close to that. I was, I was at Dre's one night. Right. And I was actually sitting with two penthouse pets. I don't know if I said that before. In L.A. or Vegas? In L.A. In L.A. Yeah. In L.A. The Dre's. That sounds good. That place is... I was there one no. time. Oh, and these penthouse pets are good looking. I'm sorry. It was... Uh, Dre's was another, another fight. <laughs> but I was, I, I was sitting at a Nikki Blair's. Oh, Nikki, oh, Nikki oh, Blair's. Right. I'm in legendary. the middle, and I have I have a girl on each side of me. Mm -hmm. So, and it was place is packed. I get up to go to the bathroom. I come back, and now I see a guy sitting at the booth. Right. So they're talking with the other girl. So I, I said, "Oh, she must know the guy." So I get back in. I get in between them. I'm talking to this girl now to my left. Next thing I hear, this girl says, "Well, would you just leave me alone and leave?" Uh -oh. I said, "You don't know this guy." <laughs> he goes, "No, you just sat down. Uh, you know, when you went to the bathroom." Oh, oh, God. so I said, he goes, I says, what are you talking to for? What do you come over here for? He goes, well, you had two. I boom, I hit him a shot out cold. He landed, he landed in the, uh, in, you, uh well, you had two. Yeah. What the fuck business yeah, yeah, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I so, wish I could punch right, somebody. Right, right, right. Nicky Blaz, hit him a shot. He was out cold laying in the, in, in the aisle. Well, so you got to, what's he, a mathematician? You need to, you don't need to, he's no, to just, you? And that's what I'm you saying. Our guys are disrespectful two. in hey, California. That is so disrespectful. And Vegas. Yeah. They'll yeah. come up to you. And I've seen guys go up to girls. I'm saying, look, if I was that guy right there, I, I, I should just go over to help this guy and just crack this guy for Because <laughs> the guy is over and the guy don't know what to do. He's, you can see he's not a fighter. Right. He's having a dinner with the girl and the other guy, I just think you're beautiful. I'm doing this oh, movie. They give you that bullshit oh, stuff. Oh, LA's packed with oh. jerk offs like that. <sighs> Absolutely. You, you've been there. You've oh, seen that. Now, after, you, after you knock out a guy and you're in front of two beautiful girls, I imagine the two girls take you home and have sex with you because you've proven <laughs> to them what a man you are. Am I correct or not? <laughs> well, we didn't have uh, uh, one of them, girl. One of the girls, them, yeah. One yeah. of them was married, and uh, uh, the other one you had sex with, of course, Ex of course, of course. I'm sorry, even in, but, <laughs> but <laughs> in, in, in the middle of that, it was just great when everybody was sitting there having their food, putting their food in. And this guy, you, know, you heard this big, you know, bang over the. They're looking. The guy's laying there. What? what? Was it like weekend at Bernie's? You just drag yeah, this yeah, guy. Yeah, and you yeah, just sit. You prop him up and let him sit there all night. What? <laughs> Now he's behaving himself. Now, now he doesn't know how many girls. The same with. thing. At, the same thing at Dre's. Every, you know, it's a big celebrity hangout. Dre's. Right, right. I'm sitting with my friend Paul Herman. He's done a bunch of movies. Paulie he's, Herman. He's, yeah. Paul, you know yeah, Paulie, yeah, right? Sure. Yeah. He's at Argo in uh, 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 yeah, L.A. Yeah. So we're sitting at, at Dre's, and we're, we're eating. So this girl I knew who I did this movie called Me and Will right. Sherry Rose came and sat next to me. So she's sitting next to me. I put my arm around a chair. We're just talking. Next thing you know, this guy comes up. He walks right over to Sherry. He goes, Sherry, come on. How you doing? Come over to sit with me, my my, my friend. Uh. So I just looked at the guy like, maybe he don't see me. Yeah. You know? Maybe he's got so, Maybe he's blind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I don't pay no attention. I keep talking to him. He goes, Sherry, just come on. Just come with me. So may I said, I said, maybe she's with me. Because this guy don't know if she's, you know, it's my sister, my daughter, my right, wife, right. My, my whatever. He better be blind. So I said, now take your shoes for a fucking walk. Get out of here. Before I knock you out. <laughs> Yeah. So he's walking real, and, and, and Paulie Herman's just banging on the table. Take your shoes for a walk. Like, That's the greatest line I've heard. But this happens in Dre's. Uh, so why do you give the guy the benefit of the doubt? Uh, Maybe she's with me. Right. So, yeah, 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 yeah. But wait, so he takes his shoes for a walk. <laughs> and he's walking real slow. He says, don't be looking at me. I said, I'll get up and knock you. I'm not, not, yeah, really, I'm not saying it calmly. I'm saying right. it. You're intense. Aggressively. Eyes right. front. And everybody in the place is looking at me now. And the right. other guy's telling me, uh, uh, Michael Woods was the actor at the time. He goes, Chuck, take it easy. I don't tell me to fucking take it easy. These guys ain't used to get knocked the fuck out of here. And blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> I went crazy, man. I went crazy. Well, but that's listen, how they are in you're California. You're absolutely right. It's a very rude and thing. Vegas is the same thing. They're very rude. It's hard enough. You get a nice looking lady next to you. I mean, I come tried. on. Give me a shot here. How many times that happened to you? Look, you're, you're a beautiful girl. Exactly. You're, you're soon to be wife. Absolutely. <clears throat> When's the wedding I fat cut? 
Well, we're um, well. We're, I didn't get my invitation. It, no one did. We haven't even made a guest list. I now see that there's going to be 150 people. You know, something. 151. I, no. Ah. Wait a second, <laughs> Chuck. I read that in the paper today too. 150. I, I don't know anything about this. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going to have some dinner with some friends. Right. I don't know what's going on. It's a big dinner. It's turning into a wedding. Bye bye. Do you think I'm cra- all right? Do you think I'm crazy having a uh, wedding? Do you think I should stay single, or do you think uh, you, nah, this is the first part. of all? She's a beautiful girl. She's I beautiful. met her at when, when, when you did a uh, Vegas. No, I'm, the not first gonna, time. I'm not going to do it any better, Chuck, than than Beth. Right? I she's mean, I'm very lucky. Come on, you're, yeah. you're very you. lucky. She's lucky. You're a great guy, and right. uh, you should know. have. Do you wear magnums? Masculine kids. Do you wear magnums? <laughs> Who? Magnum condoms. Do you do you wear condoms? Con- you, you wear a condom, don't you? Or you don't. You, you don't, don't even wear, bother with condoms. You don't. That's like taking a shower with a raincoat on. Oh, what no are you kidding. See, Even kidding. with some of these strange broads, you don't. Uh, nah, nah. No Three kidding. Three in a day, you don't wear a condom. I can't. I don't. I don't wear them. I. No kidding. Aren't you afraid of knocking some broad up? No, I. 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 I uh, pretty pull, well controlled. You handle your business. Yeah, I, <laughs> you pull out. <laughs> There's so, some girls. There's some girls that actually. Well, you got it. You got it. You got. Right, but uh, <laughs> so just before I take one, I like to put a little hole in. <laughs> <laughs> but this. <laughs> so while you're in there, breaks bump. <laughs> but this, but this seepage, right? Oh uh-huh. This seepage sometimes, even though you hold them back, you could have a little bit of jizz come yeah, out of you. I guess. I guess. Yeah. yeah. I've been so lucky so far. I guess. No kidding. Yeah. I can't believe what you're telling me. And you wear you wear one always with Beth. Absolutely, I have to. I agree. I don't want to have you out of your mind. I can't believe that either. I don't want to. But after you marry, you're not going to. No, I don't want a baby. After you marry, you're going to wear one too. I yeah, I don't want a baby. What's wrong with this guy? What are you talking about? (laughs) I don't want a kid. You can't figure it out. You don't want a kid. I don't want a kid. You know, you like pull out before. uh... I've done the pull out, but you could have an accident pulling out, can't you? I mean, even you. I mean, you 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 know know what? An accident ain't an accident. It's God's will, man. You know what I mean? Wow. (laughs) Holy (laughs) mackerel. God's will. Yeah. What would happen, Chuck? God's got to have a part. What right? would happen if a girl came up and said, "Look, this is your twenty-year-old son that you've never met." What would you? What would you Chuck, do at that point? And Chuck, what do you think? Do you when you pull out? Where do you drop your load? In the face? On the body? Where? Where does it go? Wherever it goes, on his tits, on his face. Are yeah. you like you just spray all? <laughs> yeah, over I the spray place. all over the place, man. <laughs> and the girls love it, right? Yeah, They're yeah, like, wow, some, some love it. Only, watch my hair. Watch my. <laughs> 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 Do you ever, when they say watch my hair, do you ever purposely put it in their hair? <laughs> oh, yeah. You oh, yeah. 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 You got it. You got it. You got it. It's like that one with, uh, what, do you, what do you do with Mary? What is that? Something about Mary. Something about Mary. always like. What are you doing with Mary? But most of the ladies love when you blow a load right all over. Yeah. Right? yeah. Of course. None of these girls want to get knocked up by you? I mean, you're a famous guy. I, I don't. Well known. I, I don't want it. I mean, if so, I was married with a girl, sure. So but you I mean, might hit a girl in the face. <laughs> yeah, but not with his hands. Not like that. I mean, yeah. you know. Well, let me tell you something. It's a life that is worth exploring. I could see why there's going to be a second book. I understand it now. There's going to be a second book. It's yeah. going to be uh, better than the first one, actually. Every day you must wake up and go, there's going to be an adventure today, don't you? There's an adventure. That's, that's, and it's still going because that's actually the book that is, is the going until this day now. So That is the spirit probably that brought you to the Hell's Angels. There's always an adventure, an adventure. every day, right? And everything is, ever since has been an adventure. Yeah. Who knows what the day is going to hold for Chuck Thito today? <laughs> You know what I mean? You might get, you might walk out here and get laid. He might have one plan and it goes a whole different way. That's right. right. That's right. Things happen, man. You think it's easy being me, Howard? I don't it's not know. Easy being I think there's a lot of pressure there. We, Would you uh, ever see a psychiatrist? Would you ever go to someone? Actually, says, I, I bringing that up. It's in my second book, so I don't care. I don't, okay. I don't really say. Uh, mm-hmm. But I did go see uh, somebody once because I was having. Uh, of course, we got divorced. You took and that hard. That hit you hard. Well, you know, you with a girl since you're 17 years old, right? And you with her 30 years, right? And you never cheated, and and what was that? <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. So things well, went wrong. So so things went, and uh, she said you gotta go see somebody, and that's when uh, the judge told me I had to go see anger management. I had to do that whole thing. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> And, well, we'll start with the judge. He goes, well, you're going to go to anger management for a year. Every every uh, Monday night at 7 o'clock, I said, I'm not going to anger management. <clears throat> he goes, you're going to go. I said, no, judge, read my lips. I'm not going to anger management. <laughs> and you got to realize at the time, there was, there was people there from the uh, media and everything. Right. And uh, celebrity justice at the time. And he goes, uh, I'll, if you don't go to uh, anger management, I'll put you in the county jail for 15 days. I said, then it's over? He goes, yes. I said, good, give me the 15 days. <laughs> <laughs> So they had the next paper. It says Actapix Jell-O with therapy. <laughs> so, yeah, I do the same ah, thing, I think. 
I'm, I'm not going to go for a year, sit there and listen. And I said, I said, Judge is only going to hurt me and not and hurt me and not help me. He goes, why is it going to hurt you? I said, because I can't sit in a, in, a, in a room with 10 or 15 guys saying how they beat their wives and kids because I'll right. beat them up. Right. And he goes, and you don't need anger management? I said, no, I don't. I said, my wife is the one who was cheating. My wife is the one who was the affair. I says, uh. I don't need it. Right. So anyway, just to make her happy, I, I went to go see this uh, uh, right. uh, but in psychiatrist, all fairness, would you say? Psychiatrist? Yeah, or? But, but in all fairness, Yo. if, you, if you were cheating and then your wife cheats, it's kind of an equal thing, right? You've got to expect that. Right? <sighs> well, no. You don't? No. no. Explain that to me. No. I'm not sure I understand that part. Because with us, you know, with guys... Well, right. I'm not saying me because I'm not saying I, I, I did anything. With men, yeah. But they, they, she always uh, a thought or she suspected. But with us, it's like a challenge. A right. girl, if uh, me and you, we want to go get laid, girls, yeah, okay, yeah, right, 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 right. right. If Robin says, I want to get laid, you know, she'll have a thousand guys lining up. Right. Right? Right. Uh, it's a challenge to us. A girl doesn't have to work for it. Right. And plus, somebody else's cock went inside my wife. I couldn't think of it. Oh, jeez. Right. Exactly. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's what happened. And uh, 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 found out she was having an affair. And found out she, for, for a year she was. And uh, and you got angry. Oh, I got very angry. Yes. And so I went to see the psychiatrist. That's what we were talking about anyway. But my, my, my whole uh, life there. Right. But it's in a book, so I don't really care. I see. Do you ever visit the guy's grave? Who? Um... <laughs> <laughs> actually, this guy, I'll tell you what. I, I, I actually just found out, and because uh, I asked my lawyers and all, because they, they said anything that's common knowledge, anything that's court records, yes. that it's uh, public, maybe to the public, so I could use his name and everything. Wow, well, maybe you shouldn't, so, though. No, no, I no, won't now, because right. we're on your show. But maybe right. on my show I will, because I don't <laughs> your really show give is a different. fuck. <laughs> you know, your well, show listen. I wouldn't do. Sure. But, but I found out, and so I went to go see the psychiatrist, and mm -hmm. she goes, well, oh, it was a woman. Yeah, it was a woman, right. and it was Did you my bang actually, her? actually, no, she wasn't that good looking. She wasn't hot. No, so actually, my 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 wife's girlfriend had her, right. so she sent me to. Her. I said okay. So what I did was I parked my car like two blocks away because I don't want people seeing me go into this building, right? Be embarrassing in case they put two and two together, right? Right. <laughs> so, God forbid, I, I go in there and I go see this lady. So she goes, well, look. <clears throat> You're a very intimidated guy. I feel intimidated to sit here and talk to you. Right. I said, so your, your wife must have been very scared. I said, of course. let me ask you something, okay? Let me ask you something. Yeah, you're so smart. Yeah. All right. Miss, Miss uh, Psychiatrist. Right. I said, if, Miss if, Smarty Pants. <laughs> yeah, Miss Smarty Pants. Yeah, you read so many said, fucking let, books. <laughs> I said, let me ask you something. Go ahead. I said, if my wife was so scared of me, right. how did she carry on an affair for a year? There Literally coming home to me at night and fucking some guy.